Deadly brain-eating amoeba Negleria falleri has killed again this year, just like last year. Last month, a nine-year-old Kansas girl died after swimming in fresh water. From 1962 to 2013, there have been more than 130 cases reported in the U.S., with at least 34 of them occurring over the past nine years. Most of the cases have been in the South. With that in mind, and plenty of questions still unanswered after the amoeba was found in part of the St. John Parish water system, residents met up tonight. WDSU reporter Andy Cunningham was there. Scott, parish officials told me tonight they are working around the clock to address this issue, now testing a total of 70 sites in the affected area. This, as those chlorine burns to kill the brain eating amoeba, continue. A tight fit inside Paris Chambers Tuesday night and standing room only outside as President Natalie Robottom provided the latest on the detection of the brain eating amoeba found in Water District 1 last month. We apologize for all the actions or inactions that led to this emergency and the resultant precautions, but we are committed to making sure the water is safe for now and in the future. Robottom said legally she couldn't address any questions, but reiterated her office took immediate action when made notified of the problem. This came out of my faucet September the 5th. Would you drink this to my right or would you drink this to my left? Denise Burrell showing off her chlorine filled tap water following the latest burn. While experts say it's still safe for consumption, Burrell and others who packed an earlier meeting aren't buying it. We really want to get to the bottom of a lot of things. Number one, getting the water correct. Number two, taking care of those who are accountable for this. Burrell took her concerns to Aaron Brockovich, the environmental activist played by Julia Roberts in the 2000 film. Her chief investigator, Bob Bocock, came in her place Tuesday to address concerns. It is something that we do on a national level. Aaron's uh, in the state of Nevada this evening. Back at council, Robottom told members and residents her office remains in response mode. Once again, we caution those with little to no factual information about the emergency from providing false and misleading information to the public. More information will be provided as it becomes available. Robottom also said tonight that they are conducting an internal investigation into reporting discrepancies. This as state police is conducting an investigation of their own. Reporting on your side from St. John the Baptist Parish, I'm Andy Cunningham. Back to you. The council and administration agreed tonight to adjust water bills for those affected due to the fact they're told to run their water for at least five minutes before using it. Remember, the amoeba can only be deadly if it enters the nasal passage. It is harmless if swallowed. All right, let's talk about the